We understand that retail banks depend on Temino's apps to process essential banking transactions, from deposits and withdrawals to critical loans. In this demo, our fictional bank has deployed their Transact core banking app running on NuoDB, Distributed Database, on Anthos Google Kubernetes Engine, or GKE, giving them the flexibility to run production workloads on-premises in their own data center, while also having a secondary site on Google Cloud, set up for bursting to handle unforeseen surges in core banking transactions, failover to the cloud for disaster recovery, and auto-scaling back down to maintain business as usual. This full demo of Done Live spans one hour, so keep in mind that we have edited for time. Let's take a quick tour of the dashboard. Starting on the upper left, you can see the active MQ message queue count. Going down the left side, you see the transact and NuoDB CPU and NuoDB commits on-prem and in the cloud. We're using JMeter to load the transactions into ActiveMQ. So on the upper right chart, we present the number of transactions per second. In this demo, the system on-prem is built to handle a maximum normal load of 20 transactions per second. Going down the right side, see the two GKE nodes ready to go, with the ability to auto-scale up to five nodes. Transact on-premise set to scale up to three replicas. After that, to support additional load, Transact is set to scale up to 19 replicas in Google Cloud GKE. And on the bottom, we show how NewellDB Transaction Engine is also set to scale up to three replicas. As we've been going through the tour, you can see that with the exception of a brief spike, the system has been processing a fairly steady and quote-unquote normal load of about 13 transactions per second. In the active MQ chart, you can also see that for the most part, transactions are being processed right away, so messages are not queuing up. All looks good so far. We've started fast forwarding, so you can see how Google Cloud can help with a sudden surge up to 150 transactions per second and beyond. GKE transact replicas scale to 19, and GKE nodes auto scale up to 5. NuoDB Transaction Engine will also scale up to 2, with the CPU utilization rate exceeding the target. Messages are building in the queue. We fast forward more to show how the system is coping well with the increasingly heavy load, and that activity in the NuoDB Transaction Engine replicas is converging. Finally, we reach peak activity of about 250 transactions per second. Messages really start accumulating as this is too much for the system to handle. Now we simulate a worst case scenario in this demo, failure on premises at the maximum load. In this DR scenario, cloud is just about managing the messages while the on-prem site is down. After about 470 seconds of downtime, the on-prem data center is operational again. Next, we'll show how Transact on Google Cloud is set to automatically scale back down when transaction loads return to normal. Messages have gone down to zero, transaction engine activity converges, and transact replicas in Google Cloud scale back to one, and NuoDB transaction engine in the cloud also scales down to two. The system in the cloud continues to scale down. NuoDB transaction engine replicas are now down to a minimum, and the GKE nodes are starting to scale back down from 5 to 2 as well. In conclusion, this demo showed how Transact can be set up to burst seamlessly from on-premises to Google Cloud to handle unforeseen spikes in load, how it can fail over to the cloud, and also auto-scale back down again to maintain business as usual. Thank you for watching.